on the march. The Empire on us. the run. Former Alex Marshall. Jones and the GCN Radio Network. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO or Organic Super Male Vitality Formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I, I look forward to waking up and, and taking my Super Male Vitality and get the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. War on corruption. It's Alex Jones. It's the time of the season when we love runs high. We've got investigative journalist, best selling author, WABC news host, Aaron Klein, joining us from World Net Daily. They have the sources in Jordan. It's also confirmed, we covered this two years ago, that Al Qaeda is running ISIS, ISIS. Saudi Arabia is funding it. That's now the president of Iraq has said that. And that it is a proxy war to bring down the whole region and make them do what they're told with oil prices or they'll turn the whole country over to them. Uh, and Maliki's not going along with it and is blowing the whistle. Um, and he's even saying Iran's involved with the deal with Obama to get one third of the country. So now we know the rest of the story and he's even attacking the Shiites. And that shows how incredibly corrupt those governments are. I mean, just incredible levels of double and triple crossing going on. And then our media is like, gee, why is Al-Qaeda with ISIS? And why do they have cruise missiles? Gee, we better give our rights up or we'll be hit by cruise missiles. <coughs> He's going to be joining us for 30 minutes at the start of the next hour. Then Darren McBreen put together one of the most amazing video audio montages illustrating the tyranny in this country. And the biggest wake-up call I've seen in a while, that's at the bottom of the next hour. Then I'm going to play more of the clips. There's four of them where I predict the Stinger missiles in the hands of Al-Qaeda threatening the West and calls for more tyranny, more police state to counter it. 
But we're joined by these guests for the balance of the hour. And before I go back to them, please don't forget this platform for whistleblowers. You know, we don't just expose the illegals getting free tickets and brought into the country to get people's jobs and vote, uh, you know, from a right-wing perspective. We, we expose it because it's, it's an injustice to everybody. And then we expose when black people and gays and others are being discriminated against in the federal marshals. We just, we just stand for justice. I mean, I don't want to be treated like that. I've been discriminated against working on a golf course because I was the only white guy working on it one summer. It was paying 10 bucks an hour. That was better than other stuff when I was going to college. So I worked there. And I worked there about three months before I went ahead and went back to college because the summer was over. But, I mean, it was just point blank. Listen, Whitey, you need to get the hell out of here before we kick your butt. That was a terrible thing. Well, I, I, just because other people act like that, I'm not going to act like that. And most Hispanics I know are not racist and don't act like that. Uh, but the whole point is that goes on, and it just needs to be stopped. I don't care who it is. Uh, so we're going to be talking about that in a moment with our guests and just give them the floor to break down the things that are happening and where all this goes. They've had a lot of courage to do it. But this platform is funded not by big government bailouts or stimulus money like MSNBC or NPR. We're funded by you buying the high-quality products at InfoWarsStore.com. The great libertarian Molon Labe T-shirts, Made in America, Made in 1776.com for men and women. The uh, uh, hunting ball caps with InfoWars.com. The George Washington uh, bronze belt buckles, Made in 1776. The Navy Seal 50 caliber bottle breachers. Uh, the great golf shirts. The ball caps, Made in 1776.com. Made in 1776.com. Or just go to InfoWarsStore.com and go to the Made in 1776 category. That's the Made in America all of it apparel and compared to other made in america products it's about half the price i mean we're talking about stuff that's sold in department stores for 50 60 bucks for 25 dollars. i mean we really just want to promote liberty with these shirts uh so again made in america you can show them the golf shirt that's the one will be like 80 bucks at dillard's i mean for the cost of it it's, it's just the highest quality golf shirt made in 1776.com very conservative just to get folks to ask what's that mean to open up a conversation with them or you can go with a straight up molon lave shirt all the purchases fund this serious libertarian media operation we have the great uh proprietary uh, high quality super male vitality super female vitality nascent iodine survival shield x2 no one else has this deep earth crystal source. Unbelievable what it's done for me and my glands and my body. Learn about the power of true nascent iodine, truly bioavailable iodine at InfoWarsLife.com. Or call toll-free. We can answer all your questions, 888-253-3139. I can now say our customer service is really great. It wasn't the best over the years as we were a small operation. It's first rate right now. Become a PrisonPlanet.tv member. I want to thank all of you that subscribe to the Nightly News. I want to thank all of you that promote the radio show and tell your friends and family about it. I want to thank all of you uh, that buy the great products at InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com because you are literally, with what's left of the free market and free association, voting with your dollars and building a true engine of liberty and truth to challenge the establishment. Now, with that said, I want to go back uh, to... Steve Theodoropoulos and Henry Preston, and I want to shut up and give them the floor to you know, really testify here to the American people what's really going on in the air marshals that have just been in scandal after scandal after scandal. Because you guys also say there's gun running scandals. There's uh, one of you I know was a trainer for this you know, behavioral profiling, and I've read books on that. I know for archetypes you can pick up classical you know, stuff that's suspicious, but when I fly, you know, they'll ask me where I'm going, what I'm doing. And the TSA even knows who I am, and they say, have a nice trip, Alex. Heard your show yesterday, and they'll giggle at me, and they take an eight-hour course, I'm told. When what I've read is it takes years from what I've read, correct me if I'm wrong, to really learn how to do this. So you guys got the floor. Cover the waterfront for us. Again, two f f federal uh, air marshals who've blown the whistle. You see their names in a lot of the national news stories giving us everything here today, not through the media filter, but but talking directly to you live. Gentlemen, go ahead. Alex, you're, you're absolutely right. It takes a long time to uh, to become a uh, behavioral detection uh, officer. You just, I mean, they throw people in these positions that um, uh, they want to take off a flight status or something like that. But um, uh, the bottom line is it does take a long time and they just don't have the experience. And that could show that in the stats that I had pulled off the internet 
um, where they spent $383 million on training and deployment of 3,000 BDOs. This is on the internet from the, um, from the site, uh, the G, G, GIO report. And the way, the way it runs here is that you had $127,666 they spent per BDO. How many terrorists have they arrested? Zero. Absolutely zero. There was 1,083 arrests of these people. Over 150,000 people stopped and questioned. And the arrests were for a marijuana joint or carrying $5,000 in cash when you weren't when you were supposed to declare it. It's, it's, it's a ridiculous program. The, the problem is, Alex, the reason we continue to speak out and continue to hit the pavement hard is no one should be targeted for these reasons, but it goes way beyond that. Once we were drug into this uh, exposure of the bad behavior, we learned about bribes. We learned about uh, supervisors that were showing up in their offices at headquarters drunk and locking themselves within the, the confines of their office and spending their eight hours. That's not the way the taxpayer dollar should be spent nor is that making our country any safer. We've continued to speak out and say, listen, you're in danger. You're in danger. Just recently, the new uh, director, uh, Mr. Roderick, Allison had a meeting there in Baltimore, a town hall style meeting uh, with the air marshals there. And they are looking at cutting the budget of the air marshals, $208 million. And they're not willing to cut the fat out of the program and cut the former Secret Service guys that are sitting in these offices making anywhere from $160,000 to $250,000 plus collecting their Secret Service retirement of over $100,000 a year. They're wanting to cut the air marshals. Now, the latest stuff that I've seen out there is around 4,000 guys. Now, take that and you cut that by 1,700 air marshals. And I got to ask the American public, do you feel any safer traveling on those airplanes when you know that 35 to 36,000 flights, sometimes even higher, are daily moving through the airways? And are you feeling comfortable that those fat cat supervisors are sitting in their offices doing nothing and half, the, and half the men and women who protect you are going to be removed from the service. That's why we keep speaking out. We keep speaking out because the Congress and the senators can't seem to figure out what the problem is. We have volunteered, and I will say it here now. Mr. Daryl Issa, you have to go no further. We're here. I have the group of men and women who have been directly involved with this, and we can prove and show the evidence, things that we can't talk about on the show here that are procedural in nature, and we can get to the bottom of this real quick. Why are we waiting and spinning the wheels with the Department of Homeland Security IG, Inspector General, who has continued to lie to the American public? You saw the Director Bray, Rod Allison, Novak, and I forget who the other guy was. They lied directly to Congress. This is not widespread. This is not all over the board within the, the agency. I talk to people all over this country that are air marshals, DEA agents, FBI guys, and I am telling you the government is uh, on a, a bad situation here with this uh, targeting of individuals. Alex, the targeting goes, and, and they said it's not widespread, but here you go. In a very short period of time, they had 280 EEOC complaints, 161 Merit System Protection Board cases, and 40 individual lawsuits in U.S. district courts. It's a, it's, they bury, they bury, they bury, and when they can't win, they'll seal the case and they'll pay the people off. But where are we at? Are we any better? Senator Nelson even came out and said, the public is in danger. He said it right on national news. The public is in danger. But what's been happening? They can't seem to wrap their arms around the problems because TSA keeps saying, screw you. We're not giving you any information. Right. And, that, and we've heard that. I've been in Kathy Castor's office, Congressman Castor's office, Senator Nelson's office. I've been in uh, uh, John Micah's office. I've been in every congressman and senator's office that's here in Florida and talked to everyone. And they all tell us the same thing. TSA is the most difficult agency to work with. And until you press them or get a court order, they're not giving you anything. And that they've made everything uh, top secret or above. I mean, it, right down to a memo. So you can. Well, sure. I mean, look, I mean, I want to ask you about this. And I know you can't talk about a lot of it because it's, quote, classified, but millions of people on the no fly list or the watch list, multiple members of Congress, movie stars with no criminal record. And then you're a congressman or woman 
with no criminal record, you're a movie star, a newscaster, or my...